Hi, I am Diana Silvers from Birds of Paradise. Hi, I'm Christine Froseth, also from Birds of Paradise. And we are going to be asking burning questions. Dun, dun, dun. Christine, <laughs> are there any battle scars you carry with you from this film? Battle scars, how would you define that? Uh, mementos, memories, physical scars. Oh, physical scars. None of that at all healed. Oh, thank God. Just bruised up a little bit, but all healed. I really just think I, uh, it was, it was a beautiful growing experience. I just learned a lot about myself and, mm -hmm. and my own discipline and self-forgiveness and all the, all the things we go through. <laughs> learned beautiful. a lot, That's learned a lot. Beautiful. All positive things. <laughs> Just because you were number one once does not mean you will be again. I will be number one. <gasps> Who are you? I'm Kate. I'm here to win the prize. Oh, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> what will you remember most after our experience shooting Birds of Paradise? Oh, man. Uh, I feel like finishing a movie in a pandemic. Like that was crazy. Yeah, that was wild. We had six days left. We and then it was like, left. everyone had to get on an airplane and go home. The whole world shut down. It was this whirlwind. I didn't even get to say goodbye to you because you were flying back to New York. And like, there was like a New York group that left and then the LA group left. It was crazy. Yeah. Um, that was pretty unforgettable. Also, of course, uh, dance rehearsal. Like chore like the, the uh, choreography rehearsal the, the three weeks before we started filming, that was like, we really, really bonded during that time. Yes, we did. Um, we got really close and that was such a special time and yeah. I will never forget that. No, me neither. A lot of tears. Yeah, a blood, sweat, and tears. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we went there. Christine, mm -hmm. <laughs> ballet is tough all around, but what was the most surprisingly difficult thing about it for you? Surprising. I mean, everything was such a surprise to me. I'd never, <laughs> I'd never done any dance in my entire life. I was actually really surprised by all of the opposition that takes place. Mm, oh, Every you're like word. put, you're putting your ribs together while you're extending your chest, and there's all these things that seem mm -hmm. so contradicting, and like math, like it doesn't make any sense. So that was. Yeah. I mean, they make it look so effortless. So. It's insane. Yes. I yeah. think that was the number one. What was the most awkward or challenging scene to shoot? My first intimacy scene was very awkward and challenging. Um, my leotard was too small for me. There was kind of a mishap and I felt really awkward and like weird because I'm so tall. So I need like a larger leotard because I'm just really tall. <laughs> that makes sense. And it was too small. And I was like, oh, I feel so, I feel like I'm like sausaged into this thing. <laughs> but I mean, it was, it ended up being fine. Cause like, you know, um, uh, uh, Daniel's amazing and so kind and it was a close set. So I felt really comfortable, but it was like, I just felt like awkward in my, you know what I mean? I just felt awkward, which I think actually ended up working. Cause I think Kate felt really awkward. Right, interesting. You know? Yeah. And I don't think it looked, it didn't look too small. It was just like, I think it was me in my head anyway about it, but that was definitely like an awkward moment. I was just like, is this thing too small for me or am I like crazy? Right, yeah. <laughs> Christine, uh, have there been any times where you found yourself running, like not uh, up against one of your friends for the same role? Yes, this has happened several times. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a really positive experience. We've always been honest about it, talked mm -hmm. about it, even helped each other out, talk about the script and everything. So. We've been even in like chemistry read rounds where, yeah. where it was me and my homie. Oh my God, we've been up against quite of this few things. I mean, we go up against yeah. all the time for our same stuff. Yeah. So. We we, we both, I mean, I, we both screen tested for looking for Alaska. We did. So. We did. We've been there. There you have it, folks. And we're still supportive. Yeah, are you kidding? I watched the show. Thank you. I did, and I think I texted you about it. I was like, this was amazing. You did, you did. You did such a good job. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> not to make you. No, no, but I think it's important because yeah. I think there's there's so much room. It's apples and oranges and you can only do your own best work and there's room for everyone. Exactly. And as you mentioned earlier, I think we have a lot to learn from each other. So I think it's way better to be honest and talk mm -hmm. about it and just create that space. And you, we would not be here if there wasn't room for us. No, You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Diana, have you ever been the new girl at a school? And if so, was that a difficult experience for you? I've actually never been the new girl at school. Um, I went to the same like public school system from grade one to 12. Um, so I was kind of with the same 
people, and obviously every time you go to a new school, like from middle school, elementary school to middle school, middle school to high school, like there's new kids from other schools. But um, I guess the only time I felt like a new kid was when I joined the drama department at my high school. Ooh. Cause I didn't join freshman Tell year. I joined sophomore year. And because I didn't join freshman year, I was like the outsider. <laughs> yeah, it was very weird. And like, I felt, I, I definitely felt like Kate where I was like, I was like, I, I feel like you guys don't like me only because I'm, I'm not, I'm not already included in this thing, you know? Yeah. But like, whatever, it's high school, you know, we're all just insecure and like feel weird every day anyway. Cause we're like, we have pimples hormones and hormones and trying to just survive. <laughs> like literally, I was just like, whatever. And theater can, that's a challenging class. Oh my God. Scary class. Trauma, trauma department. <laughs> Hi, I'm the one from Virginia. Elle est pour la place. Oh, Ollie, yes, he was the dancer who, he jumped off a bridge, right? What'd you say? Ooh, Christine, <laughs> have you ever crashed or caused a scene at a party? No, I'm such a grandma. I've, <laughs> I play it really safe too, so I have no fun stories to that. share. <laughs> yeah, you, I know you do. I go to bed at like 9.30. Yeah. <laughs> so. How um, was the Met though? The Met was fun. I didn't crash anything there, but. Uh, next time. Next time, watch <laughs> out. <laughs> Had your kids, had your wife. <laughs> is dating a friend's ex off limits? Um, absolutely. <laughs> that's like, that's how never about, even a question. How about? I have a visceral reaction to that because that's so off limits. Like, sorry. No, let it, let it, you know, let like it a out. random hookup, whatever. But like, if they're like a legit ex and they're a legit friend, like, you're not really their friend if you're going after their ex. Especially, it depends on how they're going about it too. So the context like that, is important. Yeah, I mean, like, like ten years later, whatever. But like a fresh ex, like you gotta get permission from the friend. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yes. I mean, girl code. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like friend code, guy code. Like literally, not even take gender out of it. Friend code. <laughs> like, it's friend code. You yeah. know. You could choose any genre or any type of movie. What would you want to do next? Oh my gosh. I don't even know. I want to do it all. Don't we all? Don't we all? It always just comes down to the team and what the scripts, what the message of the script is and the attentions and all that. So it's, I never really think of it just based off of genres. Yeah. But there are certain genres like horror does a great way of, I mean, they all, they're all great for different reasons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to sum this up. I want to do it all. I want to do a Western. She wants to do it all, folks. Sci-fi. I want to get super jacked and do like, mm. Oh yeah. Superhero thing. Oh my God, it'd be so cool to do a superhero movie. Yeah, it is. I'm here for a while. What are some of the best movies about dancers? The Red Shoes. Ooh. That's a really good dance True. film. Uh, I feel like people, I haven't seen it, but I feel like people always tell me to watch it because it's a good dance film, Center Stage. Mm, we were, um, I was also told to watch this. Yeah, I didn't, I'm sorry, film. I didn't watch that <laughs> one. Um, I love Black Swan, of course, like, I love that film. Mm -hmm. uh, Natalie Portman is a vision in that film. Watch our movie, Birds of Paradise. <laughs> <laughs>